stretched out across the electric blue seas of the Southern Caribbean, like a string of delicate pearls, lies a chain of truly magical islands. From the shabby, chic charms of Beckway to the, oh, God, I can't keep this stick up any longer. You'll just have to put up with me. But this really is a part of the world you could spend a lifetime exploring and still find a new jewel every day. Towering mountains, tiny palm fringed islands. Oh, I'm doing it again. Right, I'll stop describing them and tell you about the catch. Well, sadly, of course, there is a catch. Isn't there always? You see, the best way, indeed in many cases, the only way to see this seaborne paradise is from the deck of a yacht. And if you've enjoyed a life well lived, the deck of your own yacht. So this is where Horizon Yacht's new baby, Horizon Motor Yachts, hoes into view. James? Horizon started as a yacht charter company 10 years ago here. It's our 10th anniversary in uh, December, something that we're very proud of. And uh, over that 10-year period, we've grown from uh, a start of three yachts in our charter fleet, and we've now got about 14 boats with several boats in uh, private management as well. We've discovered, really, that there's a, a huge gap in the market here um, in Grenada and also in the Southern Caribbean, because in uh, between St. Lucia and, and Trinidad, there is no motor yacht dealer. Um, nobody here selling uh, well-appointed, uh, well-made motor yachts. We're now very excited to be offering a new dealership for Sea Ray and Meridian motor yachts. We believe that they provide the most variety and they are the most suited to these Caribbean conditions will be offering a bespoke full-service dealership for the Southern Caribbean from the point where you decide to purchase your yacht through to the commissioning, the delivery, then arranging the management and the full service of your boat so that you can uh, literally step on board your boat at any moment you like and uh, cruise off into the Grenadines. For this voyage through paradise, we decided to take a variety of boats. A sleek Sea Ray motor yacht, a huge catamaran, and a beautiful Bavaria monohull. Now, which one would I choose? Eeny, meeny, actually I like them all. Can you wrap them to go? Thank you. Our journey takes us first north to St. Lucia, before leisurely cruising our way back down the islands to Grenada. Ah, oh, stunning. There can't be many places in the world where you can be sitting on a yacht, looking at a rock wall, and then as you look straight up, you can see the top of the mountain is actually kissing the clouds. So these are the pitons looking like something out of a James Bond movie. They sit, or do they stand, who knows anyway, at the southern tip of St. Lucia. They are the last remnants of a turbulent volcanic past. Now, not a million miles away from those slightly menacing looking pitons is the magical Marigot Bay, looking wonderful on another perfect September day because even though we are in the hurricane season, almost all the weather systems head up north, leaving the southern Caribbean like, well, like this. It's a bit James Bondy too, I think. This is the kind of place where his love interest will hang out sipping dry martinis and waiting for James to appear from the bathroom, shaken but not stirred. Just to prove there really are thousands of fab bays and coves in the Southern Caribbean, here's another one. This is Jalousie Resort, très élégant, but so laid back it's almost horizontal. Great ambience, great food, but when you've had enough, you can slip back to your yacht for a quick nap whilst your waterborne chariot leads you on to your next destination. Right, well we're leaving wonderful St. Lucia behind and heading south in a leisurely fashion. <sighs> okay, take two. Some of us are heading south in a leisurely fashion. I keep telling the skipper of the Sea Ray that just because it goes fast, it doesn't mean you have to. You keep missing all the wonderful sights doing that. 
Anyway, we're heading now for the Grenadines, so we have to watch out for pirates. Because it's where Pirates of the Caribbean was shot, of course. And ahoy! That looks like a pirate village over there, said he, feigning surprise in a totally unconvincing manner. All right, it's just the remains of one of the movie sets, but it looks quite authentic. Actually, the whole region looks like one gigantic movie set when you come to think about it. Around the next headland is a little gem, and a royal favourite, which is why it's called Port Elizabeth, the capital of Beckway. Easy to get to if you have a yacht, very tricky if you haven't. It sits tucked away, little known by anyone except yachties, and all the better for it. The late Princess Margaret described it as paradise on earth, and methinks she knew of what she spoke. This is a wonderful little hidden corner of Pitting Nevis. Well, actually it wasn't that wonderful if you were a whale because it was once a whaling station. But now it's just a peaceful spot for a sunbathe or a doze. Well, you'll be happy to know there's no whale on the menu here. At least not tonight. Only joking. This is Max Pizza Restaurant. And we're only showing it because it's the kind of brilliant little place you come across when you explore the world in a yacht. This is achingly trendy, but still unspoiled mustique. And this is the world famous Basil's Bar, home to the rich and famous. So buy a yacht, moor it up here where everyone can see it. Oh come on, you know you want to. Then pop over to the bar and ask for a Bacardi on ice. You'll fit in like a dream. So when you're tired of sipping cocktails in mustique, you can, given that you own a yacht, just drift away and pitch up at what has to be, without any exaggeration, one of the most beautiful places on earth. Tobago Keys. It will literally take your breath away. And talking of Bacardi, good link, eh? Oh, and by the way, don't order Bacardi at Basil's, they'll throw you out. But here is an amazing little island where they film the Bacardi ads. It's wonderful, isn't it? And unlike Pirates of the Caribbean, it isn't a set. It just looks like one. Time could pause, fast forward, rewind. I don't care. So this is Journey's End. Unfortunately, we've missed out on showing you whole countries, let alone thousands of bays and keys and coves and villages and islands. So the only solution is for you to buy a yacht and come and see it all for yourself. Cause I'm dressed in neon lights and I'm breathing from my skin. It feels like I'm alive, cause I've sold this music we hope this film has given you a flavour of what life could be like if you owned a yacht, either a sailboat or a motor yacht. Whatever your needs or budget, we can find a boat to suit you. And once you have it, we will manage and service it for you. So all you have to do is step aboard and sail off to paradise. Life will never be the same again.